Hi everyone, I wanted to show you something with the Just Resin pigment paste. Uh, I know many people have asked and a lot of people have explained what to do. So I opened up this one and found that the paste had solidified. And so I thought it's an opportunity to show you um, directly uh, what is advised to do in that scenario. So what we have, once I discovered this, I went and got a bowl of warm water and I'm going to give it a warm water bath. So I'm going to put the lid back on so you can see how hard it is. It's just like okay. So lid back on, nice and tight, and pop it into the warm water bath. So now we'll wait five, ten minutes, whatever it's going to take. We'll go five, okay, and then. We'll see what happens there. So I'll zoom through this section and be back with you shortly. Okay, so while that's been sitting there, I've and I can't quite move the camera to show you the actual water level, etc. I've drawn a picture for you. I've drawn you a diagram. So this is what it looks like inside the dish, the bowl, whatever you call it. So the pigment paste lid closes at this point. I've kept the water level to just below that point because this is where all the pigment paste is. It's not in the lid. So it's down here. So this is the section that the water, the warm water is warming up and loosening up. So I thought that might help because I can't quite get the camera down to show you what's happening inside the bowl. So, what I would do now, it's been five minutes. I'll be... Sorry, I had to grab my cloth. And I'd take it out. And... Pop it into my cloth. It's a microfiber cloth so it absorbs very well. Pat around the edges because I wouldn't want any of the moisture to remove any of the stickers or anything. So I don't have to worry about trying to clean in this section between the lid and the jar because the water didn't go that high. There we go, right. Let's open it up and see how we've gone for this first five minutes. And you can see around this edge, it's loosened up around all edges actually. And if you just give it a nice mix, I'm gently just pushing it in with a stick just to help get incorporated a little. And then give it a stir and blend it through.
Now I could be happy to leave it here because it's a nice, nice paste type consistency in my opinion. So I will leave it there. But if yours is still a little bit thick, you can just repeat that process and give it another stir. And then I think it's going to be right to go. All right, so I hope that helps. I know that there have been people asking. I know that people have advised like what to do but I haven't seen anybody actually do it and I apologize if anybody has already um, <clears throat> but yeah I mean uh, Just Resin has frequently asked questions on their website as well and um, some of them are in there and if you don't understand I just email them because they're absolutely amazing and you know very helpful so don't be afraid to contact them with your questions or if you're asking for clarification on anything so you can see how much that's loosened up now all right that's about it for this Ta -da! <laughs> All right, I'm going to get ready now and do a pour. So I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.